Hi, my name is Trent McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. Nothing is what it seems. Not our political system, not our financial system, not this war on terror, not the direction we are heading right now, we're being told we're headed, or the direction we're being told we will head if we elect another uh, team to, into the White House. Nothing is what it seems. We cannot trust the information that is being presented to us as fact. Let's take, for example, the debates between the two presidential candidates, and I underscore two, because this is all we're allowed to vote on. Now, I've had people say to me in the past, you know, we deserve what we get because these are who the people we vote for. This isn't true. This isn't what it seems. Our political system isn't what it seems. 310 million people, and we still have the same people over and over again running for office on each team, you know, till they get their chance, their chance at bat uh, to be president. Mitt Romney is a perfect example of it. Spent millions of dollars of his own money in 2008. He was next in line after John McCain. So he's the one we get to vote for. Now, if you think for one second that he's the best choice out of 310 million, then, then it's time to wake up and realize that he isn't the best choice. He is entrenched in the system. He is a mainstream politician, and he will bring us the exact same policies. And I'm not going to say George W. Bush brought us. I'm going to say Barack Obama has brought us, because they are the same policies as the prior president before Obama, the prior president before Bush, the prior president before Clinton. They are all on the same team. They just pretend, you know, again, not what it seems. They pretend to be on your side. This is a fact. The, the, the uh, debates have turned into a made-for-TV sporting event. If you don't believe me, go back and look at the coverage immediately after every single debate. It isn't, do we touch on key issues? Do we touch on issues that uh, are truly going to affect our country? Because I've listened to uh, all these debates, either live or uh, recorded, and every single one of them has failed to mention the fact that we are at the precipice of a crisis brought to us by a financial system, a monetary system, that is controlled by private bankers and has not changed one iota. They'll play lip service to legislation that's done, but the fact of the matter remains. We have a Federal Reserve that is uh, printing money out of control. We have a Federal Reserve that's lending money around the world on behalf of the American people without any oversight whatsoever and without being elected uh, whatsoever. We have a financial system uh, run by a bunch of corporate elites who didn't go anywhere after 2008, after they toppled uh, the economic system of this planet. The only thing they've done is escalated their risky uh, ventures. They've escalated their speculation. They've escalated the amount of money that they're borrowing at zero interest uh, on your dime from the Federal Reserve so they can make these uh, risky bets and uh, maintain massive bonuses. So nothing is what it seems. We are given two candidates to vote for, handpicked by the Republican and Democratic uh, parties, and we get to uh, pretend that they have our best interest at heart. But when, in fact, they go on TV, they talk about a few hot-button issues that the mainstream media makes hot-button issues. And then when it's all said and done, we have a scoreboard. It's like watching an NFL game. Who won? Who, who was uh, best in the first half of the debate? Who was best in the second half of the debate? Who came out swinging? Who came out strong? They don't touch on the topics. They don't touch on anything other than the uh, agenda of the left and the right, perceived left and right. But at the end of the day, when whichever one gets in there, it's irrelevant. We will march towards the same path of uh, fiscal insolvency, of destroying the dollar, and uh, making your retirement, your savings, worth less by the hidden tax of inflation. This is our political system. Nothing is what it seems. Our financial system, we're pretending we're in a recovery. We're pretending we're in a recovery by spending trillions of dollars we don't have. We're borrowing it from China and then blaming them for uh, you know, lending us the money, it seems like. We uh, pretend that we have this recovery with trillions spent, we have, but at the same time, we put 47 million people on food stamps, we extend unemployment benefits for two years. We can't afford any of this. We keep escalating wars around this planet. Nothing is what it seems. There is no recovery here. There is no recovery coming. There is no getting out of debt by going further and further into debt. The war on terror. Nothing is what it seems. You're more likely to get hit by lightning than you are to be killed by a terrorist. Five to one. You're more likely to slip in your bathtub and die tonight after watching this video than you are to be in a terrorist event. This is fact. Yet we spend upwards of estimates are a trillion dollars a year prosecuting a war on terror. 
And when that isn't good enough, we say we're trying to spread democracy. So we go into a country like Libya, we take uh, their leadership, we kill them on YouTube, we install our own uh, so-called uh, leadership in that country, and then when we have a revolt, we call it terrorism, so we can have both the right and the left, the blue and the uh, uh, red teams, go on in a debate and talking about hunting people down and killing them. Nothing is what it seems. The war on terror. We pretend we're out of Iraq, we pretend we're getting out of Afghanistan, but nobody in these debates talks about 137,000 private contractors working in this region of the world. Nothing is what it seems. And if we don't understand that, if we don't get through the garbage and the fluff and realize where we are and where we're headed, we will not be able to prepare for the inevitable, which is a collapse that uh, is going to take most totally by surprise. Stories are attached. That's all I got.